The second question that I have found on the internet is how to create thin lines with Canva. Okay, so let's jump into this. I have a presentation style canvas right here. So it's 1920 by 1080. But again, doesn't matter which size of Canva we are using. Uh, let's see how we can manage lines in Canva. So the first thing I know is that if you go to the elements tab, there is a section with lines. So let's click on that and see what's there. So the first one right here is a line. It's a line about this size. I can make this smaller like this using the handle right here. I can also uh, reduce its size like this to make it very small like this. Okay, smaller, bigger reduces the thickness of the line but it makes it also very small in this lecture i'm going to show you how to create thin lines starting from this but also an alternative solution for this so the way to do it with the line the actual line what canva calls a line in the app uh, is to do like this you can reduce its size by using like the corner of the the line right here and reducing it so that it's pretty thin and then you can stretch it so that's one way of doing it. It's not the most convenient way to do it because you have to stretch and then it could be a little bit difficult to see what you are doing. So I'm going to show you another way to do this. I'm going to delete this. And the other way is to use a rectangle. So for this, you are going to use the R key on your keyboard. So R, this is a rectangle. And then you can reduce it with this handle right here it's more practical because when you do this with the line, it also reduces the size. Basically, what it does is this. Uh, but with the rectangle, you can reduce it to almost nothing, to the simplest form, which is this, which is a thin line. You can also change the color. I'm just going to change the color of the line like this. So this is how you create thin lines. And I want to show you one more thing to create like lines, but in which you can actually insert a texture or insert a gradient if you like to. So the way to do this, let me delete this. So again, the shortcut is to, you can either use the line from Canva, which is this one, but when you reduce its size here with the, the upper handle, it reduces also the length of the line, not only the thickness. So this is the, the option I like the less. Another way to do it is to use the rectangle. So you can go to elements and then you use your shapes. So the shapes were here. Go to all, you find the square or rectangle and then you simply reduce the height of it. Uh, if you use a square, you won't be able to go thinner than this. So square is not a good option. Well, I know that I always use the rectangle using the R key on my keyboard. So if you type R, this is what's going to happen. It creates a rectangle. Let me do this again. R, boom, rectangle. And if I reduce the height of this rectangle to its maximum, you see H1, so height is one pixel. This is what you get. And what is this? It's a thin line. So this is how you create thin lines. This is pretty cool in my opinion. And the last thing I want to show you is how do you create a rectangle in which you can insert whatever texture, color, gradient that you like. So the way to do this, go back to your elements, okay? And you are going to use this time a grid. So if you type on grid, it's going to fill up the screen with this thing right here, which is a placeholder in which you can insert uh, a photo, for example. So let me show you. I'm just going to use one of my photos. Um, this one, for example, if I drop it here, then boom, you have a frame with your photo inside of it. This is not what we want to do. So I'm just going to delete the photo. What I want to show you is that you can reduce this placeholder to basically as small as five pixel in its height. So this is pretty small, it's pretty narrow, and this is pretty interesting as well if you want to create a cool uh, separator for your website or for your document. Let me show you how I use it. Usually I combine this with a gradient or a texture. So uh, let me find a gradient for you. So I'm going to the elements using the search box and type in gradient like this. This will allow me to choose from a variety of gradients right here. So let's find one that we like, for example, this purple one, 
just grab this and drop it on my rectangle here on my placeholder and now I have this cool little line with a gradient inside of it and I can reduce its size like this use this as a separator if you make it very thin you barely will see the gradient but I like to keep it reasonably like thin so not too thin something like that and this could be a very cool separator this could be a very cool line that you use on some design or you can use this on a document i personally really enjoy this kind of lines that's how i create my lines guy i use rectangles or i use grids like this one if i want to insert a texture so I, now instead of a gradient let me show you how to insert a texture inside of this uh, so for example let's type in zebra see what comes up uh, zebra um, yeah you have this free texture right here I want to put this in my line and see nice zebra line okay so I think this gives you a pretty good idea three different ways of creating thin lines guy in the next lecture I'm going to teach you something new